The British were here. The British were here. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's Carmine coming to you live from New York State. Beautiful Richmond County. It's true. The British were there. The British were there inside that beautiful church during the American Revolutionary War. They used it as a hospital from 1775 to 1783. Hello everyone. It's a beautiful April day. The sun is shining and we are at one of the most beautiful, historic, oldest structures here in New York State, Richmond County, historic Richmond Town. Folks, this is the beautiful St. Andrew's Episcopal Church. Folks, this stone building has been here since 1708. It's lived through the American Revolutionary War. British soldiers were on these grounds. Wounded British soldiers were treated in this church. They transformed it during the war into a hospital for the British soldiers. Folks, if the British won that war. I might have a fantastic British accent today. Who knows? All right, folks, what am I doing here today? What are we discussing? We are going to discuss the Nico mat, not knicker mat. This is the Nico mat. Folks, this camera is absolutely gorgeous. It's the 1965 Nico mat FTN. Folks, this is an all metal, 57 year old, fully mechanical camera brought to you by Nikon under the brand Nico Mat or Nico Mat. Yes, now in America in 1965, you can only buy the Nicker Mat, N I K K O R M A T. In Japan, they sold the Nico Mat. Now, they've done this before. Nikon loves to sell the same camera under two different names or models. And that is strictly for one reason, folks, warranty. If you bring a camera for service, the Nikko Mat into America, they say, nope, that's Japanese camera, Japanese warranty. They've done it with the F-Series cameras. Some of the F-Series cameras were only sold in Europe for the European warranty. Same model, different branding under the N series was sold in the United States and that's only for USA warranty. So we're here on this historic place, St. Andrew's Episcopal Church with an historic camera. In fact, even this lens, this is the, let me get it right. I'm going to my notes. This is the Nikkor Q. 135 millimeter f 2.8 lens what does the q stand for nobody around today even knows what the q stands for except me and a little bit of research thanks to the world wide web folks the q stands for four elements so this lens this gigantic heavy all metal barrel lens 135 millimeter beautiful output the q stands for four elements but nikon you know that they didn't stop there if you bought a nikon t lens it had three elements a nikon p lens had five elements the nikon h had six elements you see where this is going the nikon s lenses had seven now that's not to be confused with the silent wave motor of today we're talking about 57 years ago history folks if you bought a Nikkor O lens, it had eight elements. And the Grand Poobah Nikkor N lenses had nine elements. Folks, today we're here in the grounds of St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in historic Richmond Town with the Nico Mat FTN. We're shooting foam pan today. We're gonna take a walk. It's a beautiful sunny day. We're going to take photographs of all the structures that I've taken today and previous days with this camera, with Fomapan, with this lens, developed in D76, 
this photographer's go-to black and white film developer Kodak D76 I've been using it since the 70s and it has never let me down let's continue a little bit this camera 57 years old folks it goes up to one one thousandth of a second but there's no shutter speed dial on the top of the camera it's located on a ring around the lens barrel uh, mount you change the shutter speed here on a dial when you change lenses the lens comes off and the shutter speed dial stays let's keep going the camera has what they call crab claws for the aperture index right here uh, what else no cloth shutter feathers camera all metal shutter blades let's keep going oh the cold shoe this cold shoe is an accessory Nikon did not include a built-on built-on cold shoe back then you had to buy it as an accessory and on top folks this is the Voigtlander VC meter 2 it's the only other light eater I can recommend besides the Sekonic brand of handheld light meters folks if you're gonna get a handheld light meter what you need with this camera even though it was made 57 years ago with a built-in light meter you need an external light meter because folks 57 years ago it was accurate I would not use it on expensive film today that's why you use a new uh, Voigtlander handheld light meter or Sekonic handheld light meter let's keep going okay just going over my notes okay we've tackled everything I wanted to tell you today about the beautiful Nikomat FTN all metal construction that's where the battery would go let's see oh right here that's where the battery would go for the built-in light meter which as I mentioned before I wouldn't trust it these days 57 years later after it was made those cells are tired they want to retire use an external light meter your film will thank you for it all right guys uh, one last thing about the uh, Nikkor Q lens that I think is just awesome besides being all metal it has a cam locking built-in lens hood cam you stick it out and you give it a twist and it locks in so many of the lenses today that have built-in lens hoods I think they're smart it just comes out and before you know it it's worked its way back in and you have no more lens hood you have to constantly keep pulling it out uh, this camera because it's all black body is coveted they're on eBay we expect to pay a couple of hundred bucks for it working in tested condition from a seller that has a hundred percent feedback or no lower than 99.2 remember you want to get a camera on eBay whether digital or film that says working and tested credibility folks it's what it's all about I personally look for a seller with a hundred percent feedback and thousands of feedbacks not just two or three this camera came from Japan because it was only sold in Japan the Nikko matte FTN all black body still works listen to that shutter works perfectly I hope the sound is a little bit better since I put on this uh, microphone muffler from the wind noise a lot of you guys complained last time when I was at the waterfront shooting at the ferry uh, that was a very popular episode I might say uh, when we discussed Vivian Mayer and rightfully so what a fantastic street photographer unfortunately she didn't know she was fantastic all her accolades came after she passed okay um, oh this is awesome 
depth of depth of field preview button right here right that's when you have your lens set let's say at f16 okay so it's always wide open so you can focus but if you want to see your depth of field when it's shut closed down the aperture you just press this button over here it's right next to the shutter button how convenient how perfectly placed check your depth of field boom take the picture check your depth of field boom take the picture you can hit the shutter button with the middle of your finger and check your depth of field with the tip of your finger check the depth of field boom done unbelievable engineering from japan 57 years ago highly recommended all mechanical there hasn't been a battery in here in 10 years since i bought it you don't need it get an external handheld light meter or in this case the white land the vc meter 2 goes right slips right onto your cold or hot shoe but remember always put a little bit of gaffer's tape you don't want your hundreds of dollars to fall on the ground all right folks it's been a pleasure talking to you today five rules comment below thumbs up subscribe to this channel email me call mine to ver oh sorry email me at black and white photo at aol.com email me any question you have about photography and our sponsor call my taverna.com free now free is free free website all it does is inspire you to take photographs of things you never had any idea and what gear you would need for each of those shots folks i have thousands of my photographs on that site call my taverna.com go through it go through one page go through 300 pages and absorb all the ideas that are there for different things to take photographs of sometimes you do get writer's block equivalent photo block you just don't know what to take photos of all right guys thumbs up subscribe now let's look at the photographs taken with this Nico Matt FTN camera and this lens, the 135 Nico Q lens on these beautiful historic grounds where the British were during the American Revolutionary War in the 1700s. And if they had one, I'd have a great British accent. All right, guys, take it easy. Let's look at the photographs taken with the classic historical Nicomat. Let's look at those photographs right now.